Hey, it's Tori from BeardDietProject.com, and today I'm going to talk about starch. And I want to compare starch as, you know, from the brewer's perspective and the diet perspective and kind of get some insight as far as whether or not it is good for us or not, and if it's not, then how bad it is. So here's what I basically found. This is something that I started to notice, something that, you know, you don't really hear about too often. Now, when brewing beer... I soak grains in hot water, and there's one thing that I know I need to have in order for starch to become sugar during the brewing process, and it kind of boils down to five things. So we need the water, we need the temperature, we need the right pH, we need minerals, and we need enzymes, and well, I guess time would be a sixth uh, component, uh, but now the thing that really gets my attention is when I brew beer. I want to brew about five gallons of beer, and you know I'm going to use about nine to ten pounds of grain. I'm going to use about nine to ten gallons of water, you know, give or take, depending on the recipe. But the thing that really gets my attention is that during the mash, uh, you know, when I'm soaking grains in hot water to convert starch into sugar, I start out with about ten gallons of water, and at the end, I lose about a third of that. So you know, I end up with about six and a half gallons of water, give or take, and so. My question was, you know, what happened to all that water? And, well, I mean, the starch basically absorbs that water. But really my question is, you know, when we eat starch, you know, when starch is in our diet, what happens, you know, inside of our body? How does that starch become, you know, sugar? Because that's what our bodies are going to use for energy, sugar. And so that's where I started to kind of ask myself, you know, if I eat starch, does that mean that my body's going to lose water? And, you know, what, what's it going to need inside the body? And, well, it's going to basically need the same five things. It's going to be water, temperature, pH, enzymes, um, you know, the right time, and the minerals. Now, when you think about it for a second, anytime you eat starch, really what's happening is that your body is dehydrating itself. It is basically losing water, and it's losing minerals. Now, I don't know if you know what happens when your body loses minerals, but as far as I know, you start to lose minerals in your body, then, you know, things, starts to, things just start to go wrong. You, know, you lose calcium, your bones may not be doing so well, you start losing copper, you know, your mind might, may not be doing too well, magnesium, you may get a little constipated, um, iodine, you know, your stomach may not produce acid. So, you know, all these things happen when you start to lose minerals. So, this is where I'm like starting to ask myself, you know, how bad really is starch in the diet? So this is what I think is happening. Again, this is just theory. This is what I found. I've completely, well, I want to say completely, but I have for the most part removed starch from my diet. I'll eat a pizza slice every now and then. But trust me, I completely, I've, I've removed most of the starch within my diet and done a lot of cool things for me. So um, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. What do you think? Is starch bad for you? How does the body process starch in the body? And, you know, let me know what your theory is and see what we can come up with. See you in the next video.